and welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today we're going to check for the options for microphone and camera in the Skype app for Windows 8. Um, if you're using the Skype app for Windows 8 I've noticed that a lot of people have problems with uh, either the webcam not showing up or uh, no sound for the microphone. So how do you check uh, if first of all the settings are right in Skype? Just click and open log into your Skype app and then go into the charms bar on the right side of your screen go into settings there you'll go into options here you should see uh, the microphone it's going to say use default device you should see it if you speak or do some noise you should see that blue bar go up and down showing that there is sound going through that's the first thing if that works then you know that your microphone is okay. If it doesn't, well, make sure that by clicking you use the correct device. Uh, here I have headset, I have high definition audio. So choose the right device depending on what you're using. Um, sometimes if you have more than one microphone on your computer, uh, for example, webcam, uh, headset, and so on, uh, Skype can use the wrong microphone. Then for the video setup, make sure that you can see yourself in that little square. If you can't, uh, make sure that it's selected the right device. One of the biggest problems that I've seen is that a lot of uh, computers come with different uh, video devices. For example, a um, card for video acquisition or a uh, TV, uh, HDTV reception card and stuff like that. And what happens is sometimes Skype is not using the right device. So click here, make sure that if you have more than one device, your webcam is chosen. Make sure it's the right device that's there. If you still can't see yourself or if the microphone settings are uh, of a problem, then what you'll need to do is go a little further into Windows. Make sure that your Skype is able to use the microphone in a video camera. How do you check that? Well. Go into your charms bar, just log out of the, uh, of the um, not, not log out, but just get out of your Skype app and go into your search in the charms bar and uh, type privacy. Here you'll see webcam privacy settings and microphone privacy settings. So first, let's go to webcam. If you have no image, if it's dark, if it says that it doesn't have any uh, camera or maybe you have simply a message that says that you don't have um, the privacy settings for Skype, well, make sure that in that list of apps that you can use your webcam, you can see here I have Skype and it says on. So this says my webcam can be accessed from Skype. That's the first thing to check for. If you have no sound, go back into your privacy settings, but this time go so let's go into privacy once again here in the search. Check microphone privacy settings and make sure that it's on. Make sure that Skype is on. That's the two things that you should check. Now, you still don't have uh, any video or audio, then it will be a little further down the road. You'll need to check for your drivers. That's a little harder to do. Um, what you'll need to do is actually go into your control panel. Just go into the bottom left corner, right click, and just go control panel. And in your control panel, if you uh, are in categories, make sure that you click large icons and go into system, go into the device manager. In the device manager, you will see the different options. So make sure that in uh, sound, video, and game, check for everything, that everything is okay in the sound department. Um, you will probably have your webcam somewhere on your uh, computer. I'm trying to find here what, here we have imaging devices. Here we go. In imaging devices, Toshiba Web Camera HD. Make sure that these don't have a little, uh, you know, yellow triangle to say that there's a problem with um, the drivers. If you have no picture, there's a 
probably a great, great, great chance that you'll have to update your drivers. So click on the device, go into driver. You can try to update the driver <clears throat> from the list. So here it says the driver is from a 2006 driver. You can click update driver and search automatically. Check, it's gonna check online if there's an update for this driver. If you don't see any updates or it tells you there's no update, here it says best drivers installed, then you'll have probably have to go to the manufacturer of your computer. For example, I have a Toshiba. So what I would do is take my web browser, uh, go into my Toshiba.com website. And there I'd find my model number and everything in the uh, support for drivers and uh, try to find my webcam driver and probably there's an update on the manufacturer's website. So it's a little complicated once you're there, but um, you know, hang with it and try to find the best drivers. Um, if you're still on warranty, why not call that tech support for your manufacturer, Toshiba, HP, uh, Dell. Uh, they all have, you know, Lenovo. They all have wait, 800 numbers that you can try for. But um, there's a good chance that if you don't see yourself and things aren't working there, that you'll need to update the drivers of your machine if anything fails. So hopefully I helped you. Maybe you fixed your problem with the webcam. Um, I've seen on a lot of clients' computers that the webcam seems to be the biggest problem in Skype. And uh, most of the time, all you needed was to update drivers. One of the problems that I've seen also is that people update their uh, computer to um, Windows 8.1 from Windows 8. And most of the time you do need upgrades on the drivers also. So if you upgraded to 8.1 and it stopped working, update the drivers from the manufacturer's website of your computer. If you have a Dell, go on Dell.com. If you have Toshiba, Toshiba.com. Um, HP.com, Lenovo, uh, whatever computer you have, Asus, just uh, go to the manufacturer's website and search for drivers, which is often in the support section. But there's often a little spot that says support and drivers and stuff like that. You'll need, of course, the drivers specific for your model number. So, uh, you know, check for these little stickers, maybe at the bottom of your laptop or on the side and find these drivers. So I hope it helped and that you fixed your Skype if you have problems. And uh, the same problems will apply for the desktop version. Uh, the only difference is the desktop version might not have any privacy settings in, the, in that little panel there. So uh, if you don't see Skype in the privacy settings, it, uh, it's not a problem because the, the desktop version probably doesn't have anything there. The privacy settings are mostly for apps, while the desktop versions of software often will use the camera without having to ask any permission. If you enjoy our videos, why not subscribe to our channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments or questions on what you've seen, maybe you have a problem, maybe you have that new Windows 8 machine and you have something that you'd want to know, ask and we'll try to put that video online and help you. And you'll be helping others at the same time and hopefully you'll come back to the official Windows 8 channel. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.